in January this year, some of you on the 24th of, a, of June. 25th of June, when we gave an, an update on the show. As you will be aware, our council approved the rebranding of the Harare Agricultural Show to the Zimbabwe Agricultural Show in January this year. And as we have highlighted previously, this is simply not a name change, but a transformation from displaying what we call an agricultural value chain to creating an ecosystem of opportunities for our various stakeholders, principally exhibitors, show goers, but more importantly, the farmers themselves. And that rebranding naturally brings with it uh, the need to align with the bigger and broader national and regional pictures. So as we had invited you to announce that rebranding, we had also highlighted that our show dates would be from the 26th to the 31st of August 2019. However, owing to the need to realign further with uh, the calendars of uh, national and international stakeholders, while ensuring that we retain the relevance and growth of the inaugural Zimbabwe Agricultural Show, we will be bringing back the show by a week, back by a week. So we will have the show instead of the 26th to the 31st of August. We now have scheduled the show from the 19th to the 24th of August. And we note that this might inconvenience a few of our stakeholders, but we need to highlight and emphasize the need to ensure that the show experience that we are attempting to create with the Zimbabwe Agricultural Show is indeed unforgettable and that it is transformational and that it will have the greatest impact as we have hyped it uh, previously that we are looking further and beyond. So in addition to these changes of the dates, we would like you to inform you that we are now likely to have a visiting head of state as the guest of honor. You will note and recall that the last time that we had a visiting head of state was quite a while ago. Indeed, the last foreign dignitary to officially open the show was the vice president of Sierra Leone in 2016. So it is a development that we look forward to enthusiastically. We would like at this juncture to urge the exhibitors especially to heed this call and urgently take up space <coughs> as we are marginally ahead of last year with 227 exhibitors compared to 219 last year and those exhibitors have now occupied 28,000 square meters of space compared to 22,000 square meters of space in 2018. But there are also many other value creating, value adding activities that we've lined up for the Zimbabwe Agricultural Show and we urge our various stakeholders to take advantage of these. And they include, of course, the rejuvenated and rebranded Farmers Festival. We are going to create opportunities for companies to connect and activate their brands and that will align with the expected 250,000 showgoers. We also are busy creating an additional area to the west of the park where we have added some 8,000 square meters so that we can have some crops and livestock demos. So I urge stakeholders to take note of these changes and to the media, our friends, I urge you to objectively report on these changes so that we do not leave anyone behind. Thank you very much. I, 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 let me just uh, highlight uh, that comparing us with a, a trade fair is not, is not fair. That's an international trade fair. We are a Zimbabwean occasion. We are the biggest platform for Zimbabweans for the cause of agriculture to meet, celebrate, and learn from each other. And Zimbabwe's production is so low 
at this stage that even opening up to the regional countries isn't doing justice to anyone at this stage. We have so much to do to get our agriculture going that the focus ought to be national. And that is why we have highlighted that. Continue to give the Arare show with a national outlook, a provincial name, is not the right thing. So we need to, the nature and character of that show is already national. So we name it as such and then ensure that everything else that we do is actually national in character. We can highlight a few things. In the past, we used to have what we call the home industries, and displaying them. But what we are saying is we are moving away from an agricultural value chain and we are creating an ecosystem of opportunities. So whoever comes to exhibit must find motivation <coughs> from training, interacting, but they must link with markets. They must link with financiers. So that's the ecosystem that we are creating there. And we are only taking winners from provincial shows. Equally, agri-produce in the past used to just be the 1.8 million households where we, they competed and the winner had a tractor. But now we have a competition for A2s within that section so we can improve productivity of maize, of soya beans and everything like that. So that's the focus. With the livestock, we just used to have direct entries where whoever wanted to exhibit and had uh, the resources to come here for six, six days would do so. But now we are supporting a livestock program, as you can see there, and we have introduced a competition again for the 1.8 million households. So there's lots that we're now doing which are uh, activities touching the whole nation, hence that rebranding, and that is our focus. And Please distinguish clearly from a trade fair and a show. So at a show, we come and learn. It is an opportunity for organizations to come and market, do market research, but it's not necessarily intended primarily as a sales platform or a trade platform, which is why we do not have like uh, ZITF has the business days. Because we want one million Zimbabweans <coughs> to come in the six days so that there is so much intense interaction between exhibitors and showgoers. Just imagine with the land reform program and with transport problems, a farmer from Warren Park has to go and look for a spray, a knapsack sprayer somewhere. They bought a bus. They have to go and look for some other information from the Minister of Agriculture. It must go there, they bought two buses. But during the show, if they planned accordingly, they will be able to see a plough, they will be able to see the knapsack provider, they will be able to interact with the government. They will even be able to interact with their local authority and pay their bills and do other inquiries. So that is the ecosystem that we are creating.